Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Welcome to The Rocket Right Show, starring Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar, two busy blondes with their fingers on the pulse of all things Louisiana, events, health, leisure, entertainment, and more. It's The Rocket Right Show, and now, here's Betsy and Kay. And welcome to Rocket Right. We are so glad that you could join us because we are continuing to talk about what makes us healthy, wealthy and wise. We're so glad that you could be with us. We're excited to introduce you to Charlie Davis with the Moxie uh, community. You're going to be really surprised to hear what he has to say. So thank you for being with us. Thanks so much for having us. I'm yeah. looking forward to being on your show tonight. Yeah, yeah we excited. all love having Moxie. That's right. So we're going to the talk more moxie. About the you never, you yeah. never have too much moxie. Never. Never too much <laughs> moxie. It takes a little mm -hmm. courage, but just wait. Wait till we tell you what he's got going on. And then in the way of thinking about being wealthy, we're going to be talking about investing and we're going to be talking about land. And we have Kay Taylor with Whitetail Properties for Louisiana and Mississippi talking about an opportunity for you to maybe find that little spot of heaven. That I little love place. the spot well, of heaven. Sounds good. Yeah. I like sounds a spot good. of heaven on earth right yes. now. For sure. We yes. all do like that. And... You know, you got to get enough sleep. Betsy, I don't, I, I don't know. Are you? Uh, you no, know, that's I never get us. enough sleep. I know. That's going to help us live longer so we can enjoy those little spots of heaven. And so we're going to talk about how important that is. A lot of people don't realize it. It really affects so many aspects of your health. And then we got some music. So we're going to have Taylor Nauta. He's got a great new song out. And I can't wait for him to share it with us. I can't wait to hear it. I've not heard it yet, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So our first guest is Charlie Davis, and I've known Charlie for a while. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things that Charlie has going on is he's got a whole lot of moxie. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't know what moxie is, we're going to let Charlie explain it. But this is... Um, connected to a trade exchange system, a trade exchange organization mm -hmm. all across four states, the mm -hmm. Southeast, that is going gangbusters. And so tell us a little bit about what Moxie is and then about an incredible investment opportunity. Well, thank you all so much for having me. We like to say Moxie is money with an X factor. You know, so oh, I like yeah. that. Money with an X factor. That's, that's So we awesome. spell Moxie, M-O-X-E-Y, mm -hmm. like money, but with an X. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it really is an X factor. So most companies have two problems. Well, they have more than two challenges, right? But at least right. two. Most businesses need new customers and better access to cash flow. And those are the two core things that, that Moxie helps you with. Whether you're a restaurant, a lawyer, a plumber, or a plastic surgeon, all of those folks need new customers yeah. and better access to cash flow because we all have expiring inventory, right? Whether you, if you have a restaurant and lunch is over and you, there's an empty table, you can never go back in time and get that revenue again. Same thing is true for an empty seat on an airline, right? Or an empty right. hotel room. And so the world is full of excess capacity and expiring inventory. And our job as a network is to help those businesses redeem what would have been lost and get value for it. And so that's the, the core of what we do. And how we do it uh, is through a very unique, what we call a community currency called Moxie. And so businesses have a point of sale system, a credit card, and using Moxie dollars feels just like using an American Express black card, if you will. It's fun to take out your, it's green instead of black or gold. Mm -hmm. You know, you put your card like out. Because it feels like money. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you buy whatever you need. And here we are in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And in the greater Baton Rouge area, there's over a thousand businesses that accept Moxie. That is crazy. Isn't that incredible that is number? crazy yeah. numbers. Yeah. You, can, yeah. you can't quite live your life on Moxie. Um, right. But here in Baton Rouge, in fact, the reason it's so powerful here is because Partners One was the original network. You know, it was sort of the, um, the granddaddy of them all. And so most of what's come from Moxie has been inspired by the success that Partners One has had over the last 20 years. And it's the real reason that over a thousand businesses today in the Baton Rouge area um, take Moxie dollars. 
Well, and Partners One sponsors our studio, so anyone mm-hmm. who watches or hears our show knows that we are Partners One member, and, they've and met we lots, spend our moxie. And they've met lots of those, uh, not quite a thousand yet, yeah. but uh, uh, Partners uh, members mm-hmm. who love and share their love of being a Partners member and what it has done for their businesses. But outside of Baton Rouge. Let's talk about it because it's an extensive community yep. network. Where else are you guys? So when you when you leave Texas and enter Louisiana, pretty much anywhere in the 1012 corridor, you can get off and spend the Moxie dollars. So it starts at Lake Charles, goes all the way through Baton Rouge, um, through New Orleans and into the, the Mississippi coast. And then you can go north. We have a really fast growing community in Monroe. We also go up through Mississippi into Birmingham, Alabama, uh, and Memphis, Tennessee. So we're in about 16 cities right now. And the reason we're doing the crowdfunding campaign you mentioned earlier is we want to scale. You know, we want Moxie to be the most recognizable community currency anywhere in the globe. And so the first thing we're going to do is scale from Texas to North Carolina and replicate there what we've already replicated in the southeastern U.S. Through a trade exchange or barter exchange Mm -hmm. community like Partners One. Exactly. Okay, so here's the part you really need to listen to about a change in the federal law that has occurred in 2016, in May of 2016, that can help you invest in small local companies that are independently owned and operated and some larger companies that are multiple locations. So tell us about the law Mm -hmm. very briefly, very simply, and then how this has affected the people that are investing and this is a substantial investment that people are making in hundred dollar or more increments tell us how this law change coming into effect changed the ability to raise money in capital sure traditionally in order to invest in a private business, you had to be what's called an accredited investor, which is a high bar. It's hundreds of thousands of dollars in annual income mm-hmm. and over a million dollars in assets. But what that means is- Who's got is, that? <laughs> Who's got that? <laughs> you know, if you think about it, that means only rich people can invest in the best deals, mm-hmm, right? So mm-hmm. if you were a working class, you couldn't have invested in Facebook early on. You had to wait till after the IPO. Right when right. so much of the wealth accumulations happens before Google goes public, happens right. before Facebook goes public. So the law started being changed several years ago, then about two weeks ago, or three weeks ago now, it kicked into high gear, which lets anybody in the country invest anywhere from $100 to $100,000 um, in private businesses way before they go public. And so we're running a campaign right now on the number one platform in the country called WeFunder, which is uh, W-E-F-U-N-D-E-R.com or WeFunder.com. And so Moxie's already the top 20 businesses uh, on that platform out of a few hundred that are currently raising money. And the reason we're being so, so successful is not only because of the incredible opportunity that Moxie represents, but it's because we already have 4,000 businesses active on the network. Right. And so right. whenever who, we f- who believe in it, who've used it for years and see the benefit of it. Exactly. So just with a few emails that we sent to the partners members and the members in Lafayette and the members in New Orleans, the members in Memphis, they love Moxie. Right. They love being part of their community. And so they were happy to step up, invest in the business, because not only is it going to give them a good financial return, but they're also excited to share this opportunity with the rest yes. of the country. Right. Because what mm-hmm. what a strong Moxie community currency does is help local business owners compete with the big box stores. Right. Right. Most companies, if you're a small business owner, you don't have enough access to capital. And so we're there to give you an interest free line of credit to help you expand your business. We're there to help you get new customers. So the longer someone is our member of our network, you know, normally the more they fall in love with the idea. And so they've been willing to step up and put their money where their mouth is and give us the initial bump we need to really set this thing on fire um, and build a global build a global network. So and I think in the first people, week, yeah. t- tell us in the first week, week and a half what you have and then how much money you have now that has started this because it is substantial and it's very impressive. Yeah, we blew way through $100,000 in the first week. Um, and we're we're knocking on four hundred. I think we're at three ninety five as of a few minutes ago. That's so. people giving you a hundred dollars to to hundred thousand to a hundred thousand. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and is there a goal set? Is there um, is there a time frame that you're looking for X amount, or is this kind of an ongoing project? 
so our first goal um, was just to hit 50,000. We didn't know how fast this was going to go. And so we, mm -hmm. we started on day one beyond our first goal, which is pretty incredible. You know? That is. Um, then we wanted to get to 200,000. We blew past that to 300,000. And now we're trying to get to 500,000. And we're at about 395 right now. So um, our ultimate goal is to hit a million dollars before the month is up. But anyway, we're, it's already a, smash, a smashing success. So, well, that's people trusting you. Yeah. And that's saying, look what you've done for the last 20 years. Look how every month, every week, every day, we're benefiting from what you're doing and we're willing to invest to grow it from Texas to North Carolina, yeah. which is pretty extraordinary. If you look on the website, there's about 90 testimonials already from investors, most of who are existing members. And it's just heartwarming to hear their personal stories about what a difference Moxie and their trade communities have made have made in their lives. So this campaign is only live for the next month or so. So it's a one-time opportunity mm -hmm. uh, to invest in Moxie right now um, way before it goes public, hopefully one day. So, and all the financial information, um, CPA review financials, projections is all at wefunder.com slash moxie. That's the best place to go, or really the only place to go to get the information. So people can actually call you. You can call up and say, hey, Charlie Davis, I want you to give me the scoop on this, and you'll be glad to explain it to them and show them all the backup documentation and everything that you have. Yeah, well, it's actually all online, so you can go download yeah. the whole thing. We posted a number of videos. We just recorded a webinar a few minutes ago that's getting posted as well. So there is probably almost more information that you could go through. But the more, the more time you spend investigating Moxie and watching the testimonials and reading some of the documents we've produced, the more excited you're going to get. So how can people find that information to be able to check into it? So Moxie is M-O-X-E-Y, and we pretty much own that word. So if you Google M-O-X-E-Y right. Moxie, we're going to come up. But wefunder.com slash Moxie is the specific location you want to go to to start doing some due diligence and doing some research uh, on the business itself. Now, isn't that an amazing opportunity that people would have in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, throughout Louisiana for the next two and a half, three weeks? Yeah, about. You know, till the end of April? Yeah to be able to invest in this and then grow it from there and watch it grow Absolutely. from Absolutely, and people who have been participating for years, I think they, they knew the benefit, but I imagine a lot of your members really saw the benefit during COVID times. Yeah, I think so. It's a, um, it was incredible to see the businesses sort of work together to help each other, mm -hmm. you know, um, just, just amazing. It's been a tough time for our country. It has you know, been. And we're not through this yet, and it's the local business owners that are struggling the most, right? The larger right. you are, the easier it is to borrow money, the more access right. you have to capital. So mm -hmm. when times are tough, um, a local business network like Moxie is even more, is even more beneficial. Right. What a great opportunity for people to put in just a little bit and see the return mm -hmm. that's a lot. So, Charlie Davis, thank you so much for coming in and sharing what's going on with you. That's huge. We're so glad that you could make some time to come. And you might want to really check this out. We're going to continue talking about how you can be healthy, wealthy, and wise. And we're going to be right back with Cade Taylor with Whitetail Properties talking about land and your little slice of heaven on earth. We'll be right back with Rocket Right with Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar. Thank you, Charlie Davis, for you being with us. Thanks for having me. Sure. Hey, y'all. I'm Amanda Shaw. We all know Louisiana is as fun as all get out. So get out, take a road trip, and explore everything Louisiana has to offer. Fill her up and try a new restaurant that's as fun-loving as it is food-loving. Grab the family and take off for monumental adventures at our 21 state parks. Or take a magical minivan tour along our 19 scenic trails and byways and rediscover the character and characters that make our state a lot like nowhere else. Louisiana is a trip. Take one today and enjoy a close by, far from ordinary adventure that's sure to feed your soul. This is Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Plan your road trip at louisianaisatrip.com. You're invited to the first annual Flower Fest benefiting St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. 
immerse yourself into this year's Louisiana Promenade theme as Point Marie Square is transformed into a floral haven, followed by a floral-inspired Louisiana Promenade Gala. Festival and gala tickets are on sale now at theflowerfest.com. Follow us on social media at theflowerfestla. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris of Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, conveniently located off the I-12 corridor in Walker and Albany. If you suffer from sciatica, migraines, or other pain conditions, give us a call to see if we have a technique that best fits you. We have multiple techniques, including chiropractic adjustments, massage therapy, dry needling, rehab, and much more. Again, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris with Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, Walker and Albany. Where else can you take the trail less traveled at a pace all your own? Where else? Escape to one of Louisiana's 21 state parks for a picture-perfect getaway. Where else can you be a world away and this close to home? back with Rock It Right with Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K Solar. We are so thankful that you decided to spend a little time with us. Today we're talking about being healthy, wealthy, and wise. And so we have had a great experience with Whitetail Properties in Louisiana and Mississippi. Both Kay and I have done business with them for Which a number of years. Which is crazy. Which is crazy because we didn't even we didn't know, even at the know time. it and we were talking. So Kay and I have been <laughs> doing the show for about six years and did not know we were both doing business with Whitetail Properties So we had a conversation about some property that I have in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Jeff Taylor, who you met a couple of weeks ago, is my realtor for some recreational timber property that I have there. And Kay Taylor, no relation in the Taylors, Kay Taylor, who is our guest, um, is actually has represented Kay and her husband mm -hmm. in, in Kitwood, Kitwood, Louisiana. Louisiana. Mine's Correct. in Mississippi, yours in Louisiana. So it's just great that we were able to realize that we were both doing business with a very reputable, good real estate company that's not so much focused on homes, but more about recreational investment, timber property. So thank and you for being with land us. Land in general. And land in general. Well, thank y'all so much for having me. We're really, really glad you could it. come. So tell us a little bit about your experience and how you even got into representing farm, hunting, recreational property. Well, first off, I started, I was working in a refinery for years. Uh, and basically my in-laws were in the real estate business. Oh, and that's they introduced very me to nice. It. They introduced me to the real estate business and I said, that's what I want to do. I'm yes. passionate about the outdoors, love to hunt and fish, love everything about it. And I said, this is an opportunity that I can do something that I really like. So that's really, really what got me into the business. Uh -huh. um, and then like-minded people because you're selling to and listing for people that have the same interests. It, exactly right. So when we go out to a piece of property, when I look at a piece of property, you know, for a buyer, for instance, it's almost like I'm buying that property. I get the same excitement they do because it's the things that I look for right. in a piece of property. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to, to kind of share that energy and to kind of feed off of what they're looking for and what they want. And uh, it really works good. I really enjoy what I do. And you know, I like the people. I love working with people and just get to meet a lot of new people. So it's great. Yeah. And you get to help them invest their money in a wise way. Yes. Um, there's or never in a fun way. We're talking about in, uh, in a, uh, a lot of people are looking, and we talked about that. There's such a boom right now. Uh, you were saying in real estate, in just 
recreational property and land, whether it's your weekend getaway or even whether you're moving your primary home away. Tell us, tell us what you're seeing as the market changes that's probably happened since COVID, huh? Well, it really has. Since COVID, we have really seen things take off. Uh, so what I'm seeing a lot of, I'm seeing a lot of people, and like you said, they're, you know, we sell just land. We specialize on the land side of it. Anything, timberland, farmland, wreck land, hunting land. That's what we specialize in. We don't do the houses and stuff. But I'm seeing a lot of people that are coming out of the city just kind of want a safe haven. They want somewhere where they can bring their kids out, have a 30, 40-acre track uh, with a pond on it. They can hunt a little bit. They can fish a little bit. But just get away. Maybe put a cabin on. Some of them are buying homes and building homes out in the country. Uh, some are buying for timber investment. Some are buying for, you know, to run cattle on. You know, there's a lot of different aspects of land that can be used and a lot of things that can be done with it. And, and for me, and I always say this, to me it's just so tangible because not only do you have uh, land as such a good investment, you don't really lose your money on it, but also you enjoy the benefits of it the whole time that you own it. Right. And a lot of people don't really put a value on that, but over a period of 20 years you raise your grandkids, you've got a ton of memories. I mean, yeah. that's, that's really something to... To take an account. Uh, That's so, very special. So, yeah. Are there any particular areas in the state that you see people, all, it, it's just a, a really big boom in that, that market? Is there, or, or is it just the entire state? Or is, it, or is there, it, there hot spots for where people are looking sure. to go? Well, I mean, so we have agents and, you know, we have several agents in Louisiana. We have several agents in Mississippi. We're in, you know, quite a few states. We're seeing the, we're seeing a, a big push on properties all over, just different types of properties. Uh, you know, my territory, I'm in the south part of Louisiana, basically from Washington Parish all the way over to a Balls Parish. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm seeing more of the properties, the, the push that I'm getting in the properties in the areas in Tangipahoe Parish, uh, people are trying to stay within an hour and a half of the city's hour. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing a lot more of my clients versus just your timber investments or your recreational tracks. People are just wanting to kind of have a safe haven, just move out and be within driving distance and not leave family. Right. Uh, so that's where I'm probably seeing most of, of, of the properties that I'm selling. That's where they're coming from. Right. So so it's easy if people want to come visit them. It's easy for them to get into town for exactly. activities. But they're still out in the country still out in the country you're out in the country but yet you're still close enough if you want to drive and see family go shopping whatever it is that you know you desire right. to do so right. uh, but but it's like I said it's been really good it's been really good uh, the market is basically all over the state all of our guys in North Louisiana we don't really have anybody that works South Shore south of basically Interstate 12 uh, for the most part, but the guys up in North Louisiana South Mississippi North Mississippi and where I'm at which is the South eastern portion of Louisiana, we're all moving properties pretty good. So things are really, you know, since the COVID, we've actually had more of an influx of selling properties than, than prior to that, which was good, but uh, they're really, you know, coming out since the COVID. Now, are you seeing people looking for to move to lakes or rivers? Uh, this a little or, pond. Or, 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 or anything like that that uh, they're wanting to be on their land? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so a water feature is 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 a big, probably, I would say 80 to 90 percent of my clients that I have that I'm working right now, a water feature has to be on the property. Mm -hmm. Some of them needs to be lakes, some of them wants a river, some of them wants a pond. That kind of fluctuates, but the water feature is definitely something that people are wanting. Because, mm -hmm. a lot, you know, of course in the summertime, you want to get your kids out, you want to fish, you want to swim. Uh, do barbecues on the water. I mean, all those sorts of things. So uh, they're they're definitely looking for the water features. And I think that makes them probably, I know it does me, feel like you're just on vacation all the time. You it, know, exactly. if for some reason you can just sit in front of the water, it's just calming, and you just feel like it's full-time vacationville. That, that's even right. Even if it's not. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Exactly yeah. right. And I really think people are looking for serenity and security. And they feel if they're not surrounded by a bunch of traffic, they're going to be safer. But you might have people that are looking for a place to do some prepping. Exactly. You know, they're looking to get off grid. Exactly They want to right. see if maybe they can lower their expenses by going off grid and doing some of those, some of those things. Um, and then I've also noticed from some of your listings that some are tillable acres, where if people wanted to plant a small farm, they're able to do that. Or it's land that could be tillable that is not tillable now. Exactly. Do you yes. see a lot of people wanting to plant their own gardens and plant large, 
large plots or even feed plots for hunting? I am. I'm seeing a lot more of that. So primarily my area, my territory hasn't been really known for the hunting aspect of it, which is what our company originally started out as. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're getting more and more of that. People are wanting to hunt in Louisiana strictly, number one. A lot of our southern Louisianians from down south, they're not wanting to go to Mississippi in certain cases, not all of them, because mm -hmm. of the license. So they want to stay in Louisiana. Uh, of course, the deer hunting's better up there. I will say that, and most people know that. Uh, but they are wanting to get properties to plant food plots on where they can hunt. They're close. And, you know, everybody looks at the investment side of a property when they get sure. ready to buy it. They may be buying it for a recreational track, mm -hmm. but they want to know, hey, can I grow timber on this track? What does it have on it? What kind of future benefits can I get out of it? Mm -hmm. So, anyway, it, it, the, the pool of buyers that we represent or that I represent is really a wide, wide range. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it could be from, like I said, recreation, hunting, fishing, or, or, or basically just a getaway. So like get you out. said, there's a lot of people that are buying property. Do you see a lot of people listing their property or is it kind of a shortage right now of property like we're talking about because so many people have been buying since COVID? It, it is definitely a shortage on the inventory side. 100% mm -hmm. there's definitely a shortage. Uh, this is the lowest I've been since I've been in business as far as inventory goes. Uh, on the on the I guess the good side of that is we're selling most everything we have, but it's mm -hmm. hard to pick up uh, listings. We're not getting the calls on the the listings and stuff that we typically do. So if you have any property that might fit this description and you've thought about selling but you haven't really made up your mind, this might be a time to be motivated because the price might be a little higher now. It, you exactly right. You might get right. a little more money for it. That's exactly right. Now, now is definitely the time. If there was ever going to be a time, now's the time that, that we could definitely push prices a little bit on properties mm -hmm. uh, just because of the, you know, the buyer's market is so high. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, if you got anything you know, that, that you want to list, please give me a call or, or Jeff Taylor in South Mississippi. That's and, right. Uh, just let us know what we can do. Yeah, I can't say enough good things about Whitetail Property. So uh, about 23 years ago, um, I became the owner of 121 acres. And I didn't know much about timber. I've learned a lot about timber. I've learned a lot about hunting. I learned a lot about rotating the timber plantation, right. about thinning and cutting. If you want to know anything about it, I can tell you just enough to be dangerous. But I would <laughs> and boy, can she be dangerous, y'all. I, I mean, let's start talking. But, um, but, you know, there is a great feeling that comes with something. And in my case, the property had been in my family since the 1830s. And so, so it is hard to let go of. It took me of it years. was hard to let go of the uh, property in Kentwood. We debated, debated, debated because yeah. we had so many good uh, family mem memories, right. memories right. on that. So, yeah. and know. it took me five years to make the decision to list it. It's been listed about a year and a half or a little bit, maybe maybe about that amount. And Jeff Taylor is my realtor in Mississippi. But all the realtors with Whitetail Properties all work together. So if you had a Louisiana buyer who is looking to go to Mississippi just because they have family up there or for whatever reason, um, you would work together on that. And let me tell you, Whitetail Properties is all across the United States. They do a phenomenal job in marketing. They do a phenomenal job in a video, a drone, everything. So you've got to call Cade Taylor and his number is up on the screen the way to reach him and we will share that on our Facebook for Rock It Right uh, Entertainment and we want to make sure you contact Whitetail Properties if you buying or if you selling yes ma'am thank you for mm -hmm. being with us thank y'all so, so much, much for having appreciate me appreciate it thank y'all and we'll be right back talking a little health My biggest concern was my family and being able to see me come home every day and know everything is going to be okay. I felt comfortable that I was being treated by some of the best. There were some scary points along the way, but um, it's just kind of like been a little blip in the road. Money, wellness, fun. Rocket Right Radio takes you all across Louisiana and the nation with guests who live life to the fullest. I'm Hurricane Betsy Barnes. I'm Dr. K. Solar. You're going to love it. Join us every week when we cover everything under the sun. Live and learn with the Wright Sisters. Politics. Health. Music and entertainment. Local Lagnet. Rocket Right Radio. You're going to love it. 
Whitetail Properties is not your average real estate company. Land specialist and MSU alum Jeff Taylor in Mississippi and LSU fan realtor Cade Taylor have teamed up. Their sole purpose is uniting buyers and sellers of recreational land. If you're interested in hunting, ranch, investment, and timber properties, Whitetail Properties experts have the right real estate for you. Call Jeff Taylor, 601-248-9433 or Kate Taylor, 225-719-0495 or visit whitetailproperties.com. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. I'm Amanda Shaw. We all know Louisiana is as fun as all get out. So get out, take a road trip, and explore everything Louisiana has to offer. Fill her up and try a new restaurant that's as fun-loving as it is food-loving. Grab family and take off for monumental adventures at our 21 state parks. Or take a magical minivan tour along our 19 scenic trails and byways and rediscover the character and characters that make our state a lot like nowhere else. Louisiana is a trip. Take one today and enjoy a close by, far from ordinary adventure that's sure to feed your soul. This is Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Plan your road trip at louisianaisatrip.com. about our health we talked about tonight we're going to be talking about healthy wealthy and wise mm -hmm. so your health is everything right? absolutely it sure is so and you know we appreciate mary bird perkins our lady of the lake cancer center sponsoring our medical segment each week but tonight you got me that's right <laughs> So, and so I'm here every week. So, that's right. You know. Dr. K. Solar is just a smarty pants girl. Oh, that's She's right. Got, My pants yeah. are very smart right now. <laughs> she does. And so we really do enjoy all the health information that Dr. K. shares with us. And it's on a variety of topics. But today, I think her her topic is especially sweet. Oh, uh, I don't like know us. if it's... I, Especially yeah, it sweet, sweet like us. Like, don't know, give us I, any sugar. I put my glasses on so I would be all like, you know... Sweet uh, showing, smart. Showing you my smarts uh, <laughs> bits. So, and, and, you know, I know a lot of people don't think about this as much, but how important sleep is as far as your overall health and impacting it. And, in fact, almost 20% of Americans do not get enough sleep. It's more than that. I There's think no it's way probably it's more than that. There's no way. I think it's probably more than it's that more too than because that. you know when they say that you're sleep deprived that means that you're getting less than seven hours on a regular basis i feel like i got that the whole first half of my life yes i mean don't you i look I back mean, and i don't know how i slept so little in college i think it was the number of jobs i was working but i do think as we get older we have more and more on our mind and we're doing more and it's hard well, to wind down or at least for I, me i it think is. what you know what i used to always say is like Man, I just don't have time for sleep. If I if I really did mm -hmm. not have to sleep at all, because I wouldn't want to miss something. I'm missing something if I'm sleeping. Yeah. But you're gonna miss a whole lot in the latter part of your life if you don't sleep, because that is when your body rejuvenates itself. That's when it repairs itself. And if you're not getting adequate sleep and the adequate, the right type of sleep, then you're not getting those reparative changes. And there was a study that came out. Uh, in 2010 that said if you sleep too little at night it's associated with early death now i don't know about you oh, but most of us would I like to live to a little while to. especially great. when we're talking about re retirement <laughs> so, yeah so you know um and i think a lot of times uh we don't think about all the aspects that sleep deprivation affects us physically and a lot of it is if you're overweight or you're trying to lose weight 
did you, I mean, I mean it, if you're not sleeping enough, it's going to make it very difficult. And there's some reasons why. There's these hormones that like change during the night that cause you to either feel like you're full or hungry. So if you don't sleep well, you know, if you stayed up half the night, why do you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. I really need to go eat a greasy burger the next day. That, yeah. that is part of what's going on with those hormones in your, in your head. They make you feel hungry. They also make you f- crave carbs and not the best of things. Right. And also you have increased cortisol levels, which makes you Stress. store fat yes. and you burn your energy from muscle. So it does a lot of things that makes it difficult for you to lose weight and makes you gain weight, actually, if, you, if, you're, if you're sleep deprived. The other thing... You know, we look at heart disease. If you're not getting enough sleep, your blood pressure actually, normally your blood pressure will lower during the night. So if you're not getting adequate sleep, your blood pressure, your mean blood pressure is actually higher. And that, of course, increases your risk of heart disease. And also, all these little chemicals that go on to help uh, improve your immune system and reduce inflammation, they cause inflammation to be chronically elevated. So if you're chronically lacking sleep, Mm -hmm. you're having a chronic level of inflammation going on which also increases heart disease. You know, you think about you and your husband were both in medical school. You don't sleep in (laughs) medical school. They don't let you sleep. They make you work. And then, like, think about guys in the military or women in the military, anybody in the military, anybody that's a first responder, law enforcement. They don't get regular sleep. Plant workers, refinery workers. So it seems like maybe the shifts could change or something could change to at least give people a time to kind of catch up. I think part of it is that you know, we don't we don't really realize the impact of that on our health. Right. You know, until, until later. Until, until you're, later. Yeah. And that's why I'm thinking about it now, because it's yeah. later. Uh, but, you know, also, you don't manage insulin as well. So yes. you have a tendency to have elevated glucose. We mentioned the immune system. Uh, your cognitive performance isn't as good. You know, because if you are lacking REM sleep, and REM sleep is what happens in the early morning hours that's the dream that's when state I get but my that, best sleep but you know well good Betsy because that means that you're consolidating those memories and um, you're gonna have better better memory and better creativity yeah. so but also if you're lacking um, deep sleep especially for teens uh, oh. then Teens, you, teens need it in a different way everybody Explain needs that. deep sleep but the deep sleep is that early part of uh, the, the night, that's where actually you're repairing, you're restoring your body, but for uh, children and teens, that's also when a lot of those hormones that's causing them to grow properly, mm-hmm. to uh, you know go through those pubertal changes, to increase their muscle mass, all those kind of things, so that's important. And uh, of course your mood, we don't think about that, but people who are having trouble with depression and anxiety, the first thing they need to do is make sure that they're getting adequate sleep because that definitely can be something that's affecting But uh, when their people mood have depression anxiety. or anxiety, they also could be sleeping too much. Well, you, you can know? do and that so as well. A, you've got to really you, monitor yourself. You've got to make sure, you know, what is normal sleep? It would be anywhere from seven to nine hours for adults. Uh, anything less than seven, and especially if it's five or less can cause Mm -hmm. significant health issues but you know you look well how do I need to what can I do to improve my sleep and a lot I've heard people say oh if I just have I have a glass of red wine before I go to bed that is truly probably not the best thing for you to do because if you use any device where you're monitoring what your sleep quality is you will see that that causes your heart rate to be elevated that so may you cause your body to, to be or elevated an Apple watch would that be affected it, by one glass of red wine well, or it, alcohol it, everybody's different on what their tolerance is but i can tell you i wear this aura ring okay and it's very uh, good as far as looking at um, it monitors your heart rate, your respiratory rate, looks at your temperature, and all those things can be affected. If you eat a meal really late at night, if you have that late night pizza party, uh, you can tell. And you can tell on the quality of your sleep. You may not have got good deep or REM sleep. And you will see that your heart rate was elevated and your body temp was elevated because your body 
is working to digest that and do all that stuff. It's not spending its time restoring the things that it needs to for you. The same thing as if you have alcohol at night or if you have caffeine uh, late in the evening. Mm -hmm. Those can, things can affect that. And so a lot of these health devices, it helps us see what's actually yeah. going on in our sleep that we might be thinking that we're sleeping okay. And when you look at it, maybe you're sleeping eight hours, but you're not getting enough REM or you're not getting enough deep or... You know, and, and if we try to go to bed around the same time, get up the same time, and then when we get on a schedule, we kind of cut those things out late at night. And if you're monitoring, you can really see what is uh, affecting so, your quality. So, of is sleep. it healthier? Would you say? So, I have, I have a close friend who goes to sleep about eight thirty, nine o'clock, is very exhausted if they don't, but automatically wakes up four thirty, five thirty, or so. Is that better? Or well, is it someone like me who I'm a little bit more of a night owl, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, maybe a little later, and then I'm up at between 6 and 6.30? Well, I think What's better for you? Is I, there, I, is there I, a better? I think it, 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 it is consistency. Because consistent, I think I'm missing think, something if I go to bed at 8.30 most nights. Well, you I don't know what. You think you're missing out. <laughs> I think I'm missing out. <laughs> you think you're I don't missing know. Out. But, you know, some people, you know, they have a very productive day if they get up early. You know, yes. and I have read some studies that said if, if, if you can get up early, like 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, but you're not going to have good sleep if you're that person who goes to bed at 11. Right. And you get up that early. That's not right. going to do it. So it's consistency. It's not being so exhausted that you fall asleep in, you know, less than five seconds. You know, uh, you should wind down before you go to bed. And I don't mean wind down because, as we said, that's not good look don't but, pick but, up your cell phone or look at a screen okay that's because it get rid of that's the, the hard light. thing because if you're bored and you're trying to go to sleep you but might want to check you social want media it to be quiet what you need to do is take that warm bath maybe have you uh a nice warm warm tea if you feel like you need something because a lot of the herbal extracts that they have in the chamomile the lavender uh you know this tea i've got up here is bedtime tea because it has a, a mixture of several of those can kind of help you relax if you're somebody who feels like i just gotta have some Something, you know um, at night uh, but uh, all of those things making sure it's a relaxing environment they say you know keeping your temp 60 to 67 degrees uh, uh, for when you sleep so 60 to 67 that's in what the they say is the optimal that's a little chilly sure. <laughs> I'm saying that my house is, on, my house is probably like that. It's not 72 like it is during the day. Yeah. It, it, it gets, well, it uh, depends chilly. on if you have pets that are sleeping with you, if there's somebody else uh, sleeping uh, with you who has a higher sure, body temperature. I can tell you, if my dog walks all over me during the night, I've got multiple little things when I was awake, <laughs> and that's a, a restlessness uh, thing because I woke up a whole lot, and then my sleep score is going to be terrible, and I can tell. <laughs> Oh, you know, we need to know more about this aura ring that she's flashing around. So we need to do a medical segment on monitoring your health. But I'm so glad you brought this good I, sleep stuff. I think I'll go to bed early tonight and see if I can't feel better tomorrow. Not that I feel bad. <laughs> but we're just going to want to make sure you get the right amount of hours of sleep and do the right things so that it's good quality sleep. Yeah, I, I need to work on that. Oh, and up <laughs> next we got music, music that's going to you know, probably make us want to jump up in our chairs with Taylor Nada. So, so y'all stay put. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris of Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, conveniently located off the I-12 corridor in Walker and Albany. If you suffer from sciatica, migraines, or other pain conditions, give us a call to see if we have a technique that best fits you. We have multiple techniques, including chiropractic adjustments, massage therapy, dry needling, rehab, and much more. Again, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris with Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, Walker, and Albany. Some call it joie de vie, the joy of life. In Louisiana, it's our way of life. From music that shakes up your senses to food that wakes up your palate. That joy vibrates in every note we play and spices up every meal we serve. So come live life to the fullest. Come one, come y'all, come feed your soul in Louisiana. I'm Sean Ardway inviting you to plan your trip at louisianatravel.com. Whitetail Properties is not your average real estate company. Land specialist and MSU alum Jeff Taylor in Mississippi and LSU fan realtor Kate Taylor have teamed up 
Their sole purpose is uniting buyers and sellers of recreational land. If you're interested in hunting, ranch, investment, and timber properties, Whitetail Properties experts have the right real estate for you. Call Jeff Taylor, 601-248-9433 or Kate Taylor, 225-719-0495 or visit whitetailproperties.com. You're invited to the first annual Flower Fest benefiting St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Immerse yourself into this year's Louisiana Promenade theme as Point Marie Square is transformed into a floral haven, followed by a floral-inspired Louisiana Promenade Gala. Festival and gala tickets are on sale now at theflowerfest.com. Follow us on social media at theflowerfestla. Where else can you take the trail less traveled at a pace all your own? Where else? Escape to one of Louisiana's 21 state parks for a picture-perfect getaway. Where else can you be a world away and this close to home? I had a meeting with Dr. Barfield, and it kind of just hit me. It probably is cancer. After the surgery, I wasn't scared anymore. I was looking forward to getting started with chemo. Not one time did I get a nurse in a bad mood. I was here for five hours at a time, and I did not dread coming. To get people from around the country to come to Baton Rouge, and that says a lot right there. That This is a place that's cutting edge. Show. I'm Dr. Case Eller in the house with Hurricane Betsy Barnes. It's rocking Hurricane Betsy Barnes. Rocking Hurricane That's Betsy right. Barnes. That's right. Rocking Dr. Case Solar because we're about to rock it right. That's right. And thank you. We have Taylor Nauta with us who is brought his guitar because hopefully music is coming <laughs> back to Baton Rouge. Well, right? I sure hope so. I sure <sighs> hope so. Yes, that's, finally. It's been such a hard year, but uh, things are starting to open up a little bit more. And, uh, you know, I was driving down the road the other day, and I, and I heard your song playing on 100.7 The Tiger, our sister station with Talk 107.3 yes. FM. And I absolutely loved it. And, well, I, I, and, and I thought that it was your song because I had seen, you know, some posts. But I wasn't 100% sure that, mm-hmm. that that was it. And I called you because I was like, I love that song. So I know you're going to maybe, like, you know, play that for us. But let's Be tell folks a little bit about you first. Uh, if they don't know you, like, give us some background history. Did you come out of the womb with a guitar? Uh, <laughs> what city did you come out of the womb in? And just give us a little background. Well, you can tell I'm a gynecologist here, right? That's right. Yeah, I, I can. I can tell. All that womb talk kind of <laughs> right. kind of makes it clear. We got a gynecologist, and you got a background in public relations, right? Yes. All right. Well, cool. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't come out of the womb with it, but I. Uh, Pretty much, not very long thereafter. Uh, seven years old, kind of started playing guitar. My grandpa taught me, and uh, just kind of took off with it from there. It's sort of been my inseparable companion throughout most of it's my a, life. It's a good companion to have. Yeah. You know, I I, I think it it uh, helps a lot when there's lots of different uh, social situations going on, and uh, being all confined during COVID, you were probably extremely creative. Yeah, well, and, you know, I thank God I found the guitar early because I'm just not very good at anything else. You know, some kids <laughs> were good at sports and other stuff, and I really just wanted to sit in the corner and play my little guitar, and I've never really, that's never changed all yeah. my life. So. Well, I don't, think that's a, I don't think that's a bad thing. And, uh, you know, I remember uh, when my son CJ was, was growing up, it was the same thing, and, and it, it was always something to do. The group of friends kind of circulated around that, had like interests musicians but you could always go to your room and play music and i think feel happy oh yeah i'll and, tell you what and the better you get the more your family likes you practicing out among them <laughs> that's true <laughs> that is true. true that is true yeah you know and as you made an interesting point about you know has his whole circle of friends was kind of uh, revolved around that and that's exactly how it's been my whole life virtually every friend i have i've met through music i met my wife through music so if it wasn't for this little six string contraption here i wouldn't hardly know anybody <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's, it's definitely a friend maker, it I, is. I think. Yeah, so, the, mm-hmm. um, so are you originally from Baton Rouge? Or? Yeah, I was born here. Um, my childhood home was up there in Greenville Springs. And then uh, when I was a kid, my dad got a big old job out in Salt Lake City. So he packed us up out there. I grew up in Salt Lake. Okay. So I uh, went to high school there. 
and uh, when I turned 18 is when I moved to Nashville and I've spent my whole adult life in the South. Yeah, so tell us about your time in, in, in Nashville. Well, it was tumultuous, you know. It had a lot of <laughs> as it is for most musicians, <laughs> yeah. you know. <laughs> it had a lot of vicissitudes, a lot of ups and downs, you know. Um, I did the dumbest thing ever, you know. I moved there with nothing but two guitars and a duffel bag, and I thought I was just going to kick the doors open to that town, you know. I thought that all you needed was was talent. And, that and, and, and you know, that, people don't realize that. There's a lot of talented people up there, but that's not what all you need and today you just need to uh, go viral on TikTok. Go viral on TikTok with a big bag of cash. Yeah. That's what you need. <laughs> yeah, the world's changing. Yeah, but it's I mean, crazy. I went up there and, you know, I, I quickly learned that you can't take off your boot and throw it without hitting another guitar player and another songwriter and, you know, a lot of them are real good. Some of them aren't, but a lot of them are really, really, really good, you know, and there's some of the best songs you ever heard in your whole life are going to be at little songwriter rounds at the Bluebird Cafe or something like that. And they're songs that are never going to get heard by anybody. Right. Songs that nobody's ever going to cut. You know, I've been to pitch to publisher, you know, things and NSAI functions and stuff. And I've heard some of the best songs I've ever heard in my life. And nothing ever happens with them. And you're like, what right. is going on? And then you hear some stuff on the radio that you like. Well, talking who, about who decided hearing, to cut that. You yeah. Know? Well, here talk about hearing stuff on the radio. Uh, tell us about the song "Magic Love" that's that's being played right now. Yeah. So "Magic Love" uh, it's our second single with the Taylor Nada band. Um, first one we did was "Take a Plane." Um, "Magic Love" is a song I wrote on a cruise ship back in 2013, I think. You know, left mm -hmm. out of the port of New Orleans, and I was kind of feeling that New Orleans vibe, and for some reason. I had the song stuck in my head, and it was an old jazz song called The Girl from Ipanema. Yeah. yeah. Y'all familiar with that yes, song? Yeah. But about a pretty girl who goes by and catches your attention kind of thing. And I thought, you know, it'd be cool to write something like that about a New Orleans woman, you know, make mm -hmm. it make a Louisiana version of that same idea. And that's really kind of what inspired the well, song. Well, I love it. And it's, and it's, it's very soulful sounding. So you want to give us a little bit of that right now? Sure. Give sure. us a lot of bit of that right now. <laughs> a whole lot will. was a cloudy day down on the esplanade when you walked by There's not enough to say about her sashay, oh my mm -hmm. When her eyes met mine, it just stopped time, I swear Man, I might as well have been under a spell, it ain't fair I fell right there, call it destiny It was meant to be written in the stars It was in the cards like a crystal ball Writings on the wall A sign straight from above She's got magic love She's got magic love Yeah, 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 yeah I can't get enough, I just can't rise above this emotion she got me in a trance with her smooth romance, it's a potion Like a premonition, a sweet superstition's got a hold on me Like a voodoo doll, helplessly I fall to my knees at her beckoning, please call it destiny It was meant to be written in the stars It was in the cards like a crystal ball Writings on the wall A sign straight from above She's got magic love She's got magic love Yeah, 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 yeah She's got a playful way When she misbehaves And I'm her slave Genie in a bottle Comes out full throttle When she rubs me the right way Call it destiny It was meant to be 
written in the stars it was in the cards like a crystal ball writings on the wall a sign straight from above she's got magic love she's got magic love she's got magic love she's got magic love yeah Thank you. I think that's amazing. So tell us what is coming up next. You said another song coming out. Yep. And then oh, what's what's up for uh, playing? Yeah, so where can people see, see you? Live. I, mean, well, I mean, you know, I know we're, we're still not like open fully, but do you have anything that folks need to know about? Yeah, so um, we're playing at Boopaloos and Tickfall this fr- well, tomorrow night. Friday night, not tomorrow night. Friday night. Night after tomorrow night. That's right. Friday night uh, from 6 to 10 we'll be there. So everybody come out to that. Um, band gigs are sparse right now because right. nothing's opened up, so we're really having a hard time booking full band shows. But stay tuned on the calendar, stay tuned on our website. The website's currently under construction. I mean, it's just not up to date. You can get on there, but we're about to, as soon as the, the dates start trickling in, we're going to put them on there. Stay tuned on our social media. They're starting to come back. Ever since things have opened up, we're starting to book a little bit. But my main priority right now is finishing the record, which I'm hoping to have completely finished by the end of May, beginning of June. And um, the next single is going to be a song called Brand New. It's a super, super soulful, like Almond Brothers kind of song. If you thought love that it. Magic Love was bluesy, that. it's oh, like uh, they, yes. they, this other one's way more so. This whole album's more like a country soul record, really. It's really mm-hmm. pretty bluesy I love and swampy. That. So country how can people soul. find yeah. you? We want to make sure. What is your website? Spell it for yeah, people. That's just so band. Dot com. That's www.taylornottaband.com. That's N-A-U-T-A. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Golly, I love that song. Yeah, it's Thank great. You. It's I great. Did. And follow you on socials. Is that's it right. Taylor Not yep. a Band as well? Taylor Not a Band on Facebook. Um, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'm on everything. So you and you'll be me. announcing when that album is going to be coming out. Oh so yes. So then they'll can look for it on all places where you find music for show. Sure. That's mm-hmm. right. And we look forward to seeing you this weekend at the Flower Fest. You need oh, to also yeah, check y'all. out Beauvoir Park. They've got a lot of great concerts. We need to get you out there at Beauvoir Park. Mm, and if you're going to rock it, it, make sure you, you rock, rock it right. right. We'll see you again soon. Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Rock It Right with Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar is brought to you by these generous sponsors. Partners One, Better Barter for Baton Rouge and Beyond. Mary Bird Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center, Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, Advantage Health Solutions with Dr. Boyd Michael Helm, High Tower Dental Concepts with Dr. Leah Larson, City Group Hospitality, including City Pork Brasserie and Bar, City Pork Catering, City Slice, City Taco, Rouge Creole, and Beau Soilet. Talent 360 Consulting with Vicki Little. Jeff Taylor, Realtor and Forester with Whitetail Properties. The Third Street Songwriters Festival. Elite Chiropractic with Dr. Ron McMorris. Causey Metastetic and Dr. Danielle Causey. LouisianaIsATrip.com, take one. Beauvoir Park and the Flower Fest Louisiana at Point Marie. Thank you for making our show possible.